right, we're on to lesson number four. In this lesson, we'll cover aircraft performance. You learn how to teach your students how to read the pilot operating handbook and all the charts contained in it, and also learn how to correctly load your airplane. It's now time to join our instructor in the classroom and get started. Hi, Rob Bremer again. This is lesson four, aircraft performance. Now, if you like a little number crunching, then this is the lesson for you. You'll have to get proficient enough to teach your students to do it as well. Fortunately, this little gizmo, the CX-2 Pathfinder Flight Computer from ASA, will make it a lot easier. Okay, are you ready? Let's get started. This lesson is organized as follows. There is altitude, density altitude, takeoff performance, climb performance, range performance, glide distance, stall speed performance, and landing performance. We also have multi-engine performance, wind components, weight and balance, locating the balance point, finding the center of gravity, weight to be added or removed, and weight shifted. Okay, let's begin with one of our favorites. Let's start by talking about altitude. First, let's define standard conditions, which are temperature, 59 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 degrees centigrade, pressure, which is 29.92 inches, and relative humidity, which in this case is zero. Now, only at standard condition is density altitude equal to standard altitude. Airplane performance relates directly to density altitude, but before we attempt to compute density altitude, we must first define it. Density altitude is at equivalent pressure altitude when corrected for non-standard temperature. Another way of stating this is by use of this example. Let's say a given airplane had a maximum rate of climb of 500 feet per minute at 9,000 feet pressure altitude at standard temperature of zero degrees Celsius. But now the pressure altitude is only 6,000, but the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius above standard. Under these conditions, the density altitude would be 9,000 feet. Thus, our given airplane would perform as though it were at 9,000 feet and produce a maximum rate of climb of 500 feet per minute. If you're confused, don't worry. We'll go through another example later. A decrease in pressure and an increase in temperature both decrease air density and increase density altitude. Since water vapor is less dense than dry air, an increase in the relative humidity will also increase the density altitude. Density altitude is used for computing aircraft performance, and it may be found on charts or by the use of flight computers. 